Hi, I'm Jared Bestiver, and today I'm excited to share with you how SyncWave operations can provide greater situational awareness for grid operations. Today, power system operators rely on SCADA measurements for visualization and analysis of power system data. SCADA data typically updates at a rate of once every four seconds. Newer time-synchronized measurement technology, such as synchrophasers, relay oscillography, and now streaming point-on-wave data, have resulted in an increase in the volume and rate of data available to grid operations. These newer measurements can provide more than 100 times the visibility when compared to traditional SCADA data for power system events. As the number of devices deployed with this new measurement technology grows, a new challenge emerges. How do operators and engineers view this data, develop an understanding, and then take action without becoming overwhelmed by the sheer volume of data? This is where SyncWave Operations comes in. It was designed to complement existing EMS and SCADA solutions by bringing together multiple sources of high resolution data in order to provide operators additional situational awareness. Now, let's dive in and see how we do it. SyncWave Operations provides grid operators with three primary workflows, system monitoring, asset investigation, and notification analysis. In the top right-hand corner of the software, we have our notification summary. This provides the operator an overview of the system state and also alerts operators of any active events on the system. Next to the notification summary, we have the event timeline. This timeline provides control over time within the application and also provides a summary and sequence of events of notifications that have occurred. Here you can see a two followed by a frequency notification. Below this gray line is our dashboard space. Dashboards are composed of panels that provide information on the state of the power system. By bringing together this data, we can provide a system perspective across multiple assets for operators. On the map, the operator can see the transmission line coordinates and also see weather layers such as wind, fire, and lightning information. Here on the map, you can see several hot spots representing active fires in the region of the power system being viewed. An operator can then drill in if a particular fire gets too close to any transmission line and see if the line is being impacted. We also have, for example, a frequency trend on this dashboard with a system frequency representation in the top right hand corner as well. We also have a phaser scope, which provides an indication of the phase angle stress across the system, followed up by a bar chart showing the system voltage across the particular power system. Next, let's go ahead and investigate a notification. Here on the timeline, we can see those two notifications that I referenced earlier. By selecting the notification, the software automatically takes the operator into notification analysis mode. Here we can see there are three total events in my list. An oscillation was detected, as well as two frequency events. We're going to go ahead and select the frequency event. When we select the frequency event, the software takes the operator to all the information available for this frequency event. You can see how the geospatial map shows all of the locations that detected this particular frequency event and also provides a primary location as well. One of the neat things about synchrophaser data is the high resolution timestamp. This allows us to group all of the data across multiple locations together into one notification, simplifying the operator's workflow. The operator can also see on the trend the thresholds that cause the particular notification to be generated. They can then zoom and pan through this data to investigate further, as well as the software integrates relay event re record data as well. So the operator can see a summary of the information from the event report collected from the relay that ended up tripping off this generation. 
The operator or engineer can then download this event for further analysis in SyncWave Event. SyncWave Event provides visibility into relay oscillography. Operators can use SyncWave Event to verify the phases involved in a particular fault. Engineers can use SyncWave Event to understand root cause of the relay operation. Let's return back to SyncWave Operations. After completing analysis of the event, the operator can also return back to system monitoring. The last workflow for an operator that SyncWave Operations supports is asset investigation. An operator can drill in to any asset's high resolution data by selecting that asset directly on the GIS map. When selecting the map, the software brings the operator to all of the information available. Here, you can see a trend of frequency as well as bus voltage information from either end of the line. The operator has also the ability to go ahead and select additional information from the dashboard menu. By selecting the phase angle difference dashboard, the operator can see the real-time phase angle separation across the transmission line and compare that to other transmission lines, phase angle separation as well. The dashboard also includes a trend of the phase angle separation across the line with comparison to its limits. The operator can also select phase current, phase voltage, as well as three-phase power, reactive power, and real power across the particular transmission line. We've also added the ability for the operator to compare SCADA information alongside PMU data, as seen on this display. The operator can also zoom and pan, and here you can see, for example, a case when the SCADA data misses the event that was detected by the synchrophaser data. And that concludes our demonstration of SyncWave Operations. In summary, SyncWave Operations provides operators with system monitoring, notification analysis, and asset investigation to improve operator situational awareness. For more information, please visit us on our website, sclink.com. Thank you.